Is it spicy? A little bit, but it's more the the, the numb taste yeah. on the surface of your tongue that's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. and that is, I think that is why you eat that sort of pepper. And now, now the mm -hmm. the spiciness kicks in a little bit. Now after this time of chewing. Yeah. But it's after it's still one. very herbal and also a little bit um a little bit of sweetness comes through too now. But but my. Totally, the whole tongue now feels a little <laughs> bit numb. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot feel anything. <laughs>In this episode, we are going to take a look at spicy Chinese food, especially the famous Szechuan peppercorn. And why do people even like eating spicy food? In joining me today to talk about these topics are two guest friends. They are chef and cooking instructor Lucy from Lucy's Asian Kitchen and Dr. Fritz Treber, a food scientist from the University of Graz. Tell us what are you making today? Uh, today I will uh, preparing two dishes uh, from Sichuan province. Uh, one is called a uh, uh, fish flavor uh, shredded pork and another one is called a mako tofu. So you find the most uh, spiciest chilies uh, in regions where the moisture is very high and the temperature is very high. Why we like it and why is the food spicy for us? So we have to go back in evolution and we have to look at the vegetables. Why do they develop molecules that feel spicy for us when we eat them? Molecules that are spicy, like we have here, capsaicin, they protect the vegetable, the chili, against uh, fungi and bacteria. Uh, they have a uh, carrot and uh, bell pepper. This is uh, the uh, Chinese uh, mushroom. It's the black uh, black mushroom. It's called muer. And also it's the ginger and the garlic. And also have a little, you know, uh, uh, it's called a green onion. Soy soy sauce and the dark soy sauce and the vinegar and the sugar. I will use this uh, fermented uh, sauce. This is the bean paste. And another one is the Sichuan pepper. This is Sichuan pepper. So this actually is the soul of the, the Sichuan cuisine. It's really, you know, a special flavor and uh, making your, your mouth really numb. Wow! I If you eat spicy food and you feel like uh, your mouth is burning, this is a sort of pain. The, the brain sets chemicals free. This is like the, the chili pepper high when you, <laughs> you get it from eating spicy food. And some, some only I think one to two percent of, of people are addicted to this. So here we have the placenta and in the placenta you find the seeds. And this tissue here is where the glands produce the spicy stuff. So the seeds have only a little bit of placenta on it and so if you try the seeds and eat them you still feel the spiciness in your mouth because parts of the placenta are on the seeds. What's the reason for taking out the meat and now stir frying the vegetables? Why not just keep the meat in there and, and then, then throw the, the vegetables? The meat will be get old. The meat will be overcooked. Yeah, overcooked. Yeah. Okay. So that is right now is the ginger garlic and the fried first. And I just add a little, uh, you know, this uh, chili powder and then uh, the chili bean paste when. 
<laughs> but this one just has chili. It has no Szechuan peppers. Chili and the fermented beans. Yeah. Okay. Which is sort of like a, like the miso, except the Japanese grind the paste into a paste. The Chinese leave it in sort of a solid bean. <laughs> is it still spicy? Mm. No. Actually, this not one really. is not spicy. Not spicy. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Trevor, tell us about this second dish. Mm. How, what's your response? It's very interesting because of the, the grinded Szechuan pepper. Now you, I can, can feel uh, the spiciness of the pepper too, because the numbness is, is not there actually. Maybe uh, because of the oil or uh, the texture of the tofu and the rice. So you felt less numbness from yeah. the Szechuan pepper in this cooked dish? It's now it's more spicy. The spiciness from the pepper now comes out and just a little bit of numbness. But but I think the, the spicy flavor is is first place. To cook together, to eat together and to understand the people uh, from other countries because this is one thing that we have all together, to sit together and eat good food. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's different, some does not eat uh, meat from cow, the others not, not from, from pork or, or others eat only vegetables, but you can find a way that everybody comes together and finds something that he or she likes. Mm -hmm. And that is important and he said that is also a way to peace, to come together, eat together, cook together and to talk. and start uh, to uh, understand the other culture uh, by eating dishes from the other culture and then talk about everything else but this is the beginning <laughs> of something good. <laughs> yeah.